I'm Shovel and welcome to my channel. We're back on Qcraft and today I want to build a little bit more around my house. The house itself is done, the inside's all done. Um, but I want to make it a little more magical. I want to add some, some magic to it. So I think I want to build like a rainbow. And I'm going to build it out of glass. I'm going to use the rainbow as a place to have my portals at whenever we're, we're ready to, to go through portals. But I'm not going to put the portals in because that's kind of cheating. So I'm going to do pink, yellow, green, blue, and purple. I think that's gonna look pretty. I only have space for five blocks because the portal's gonna be five blocks wide. I'm gonna put it behind my house. I think I'm gonna put it right here. I want it to be even, but we'll just wing it because <laughs> I don't know if I can make it even. So it's gonna be like this. Put that there. But we're gonna have the portal here. For now, I'll fill in the rainbow because I'm not doing the portal yet. But the portal will be like this high and we'll do all the colors of the rainbow leading to the aether portal and then the nether portal because we have the aether mod on this server that's probably going to be the size of the portal and then i'll have the rainbow come at least one higher than that and then we'll start moving inwards and have it wrap around to meet the other side where there'll be a nether portal and I'm gonna do that first. I also kinda want unicorns around my house, but I don't know where you get them from. Uh, I could build some, just to make it like a mystical place, cause I want it to look like a little fairy wonderland, kind of. Um, okay, I think that's good. I don't wanna go, I think I'm gonna do the next layer now. This is gonna be so cute. <gasps> oh, it is beautiful. And it's just gonna be leading portal to portal. I think I'm gonna put the portal like inside this square. So it'll be right there. But I'm gonna get the portal legit. We'll start playing legitly once I'm done. I'm gonna do like another episode or two of building up my house to be like completely set for the series. And then we'll get into the series and actually play. Okay, there we go. Oh my God, that's cute. I have a little rainbow behind me where I'm gonna put my portals. That looks kind of cool. Yeah, and then it'll have the aether and the nether. And then I guess I could put something in between here. I also kind of want to have a dragon up here. That was another plan I had to make it kind of like a little fairy tale like land. Have a dragon up near my house. So I'm going to do that actually. I'm going to build him this far out from my house just so that there's enough distance away for his wings to not hit where I'm living. Um, this will be his head. I'm not very good at this, but I'm obviously also still following a picture, but I'm going to try and do it a little different. That's going to be my little dragon. Head. Okay, there's my little flying dragon behind my house. He doesn't really have a purpose other than just looking cool and being near my magical house land. And I kind of want to add another little thing. I think there's like fairies and stuff. There's these little fireflies that are flying around. I don't know what these guys are, but I kind of want to make like a little friendly area for magical creatures. So I'm going to make like a little mushroom house that's also going to be something I can use when I'm not all the way up in my tower and I don't want to be. So I'm going to make a little area down here for it. Uh, right underneath, not right underneath the, what is that? Is that a, I don't need to know. I'm going to put it right here on the, the top of this hill just because I don't want to, I like the way this kind of goes down here towards my little waterfall. So I'm going to fill in the space up here and build a mushroom house to be like a little addition to my house that I can get to without having to climb all the way up. And it kind of looks like a little fairy home. So I've started working here underneath the rainbow in this little area and I have like a, a base to this extra little house to stay in. I'll probably put like bookshelves and crafting benches in here. And I'm gonna put a big mushroom top on top of it to look like just a little extra, extra little thing. I don't know, maybe I should have put the front on the other side. No, this is fine. Cause I'm gonna put a little gardeny area all in this part. I'll probably have another door in here. Maybe. Yeah, that seems fair. So this is the completed mushroom house. I put the little mushroom top on it. Oh my God, it looks so cute. I love my little area here. Inside, I just put some, some chests and furnaces and crafting benches. And then up top, I put like a little enchantment room because I, I figured this will be a good room for enchanting. I kind of like it up here. Uh, there's some beds if I need to sleep at night, although there's no door. One more thing I wanted to add right here is a swing. For little fairies to swing on. Yeah. There 
we go. And then I just put this here. Look at how cute! I need to make like this area around here a little prettier and add like ponds and water and maybe some sand around to make it pretty. And I'm gonna make a big bridge across this lake by my house. But it's looking, look at that dragon up there. This looks like a little fairy wonderland. Where are the unicorns at? I don't know what, are there unicorns in here? Cause I kind of really wanted them. Oh my God, no way. Can I just, can I just put one? <gasps> I'm just gonna leave that one there. So it's a fairyland. Oh my God, it's so mystical and magical and it's a baby. <gasps> Please stay here and don't ever leave me. The unicorn walked into my mushroom house. So I put up a fences and I locked it in and now it's all grown up. And I'm gonna steal it. Just don't tell anybody that I did that. Uh, I added a little bit of stuff here. I didn't do too much yet around here. I put a pumpkin over there. Actually, just to, to be asymmetrical, I'm gonna remove it from there and put it over there. I'll put like some leaves around because there's some leaves up here. So I'll probably do a little bit of a, a leaf bushy area around here. Probably securing my little area. And then I, I, I put some sugar cane down here and I built a bridge that goes all the way across. I kind of want to see what this all looks like at nighttime. Ooh. <gasps> okay, so I think my rainbow might need some glowstone. I'm gonna put it at the very, very top. This will be a layer of glowstone. And the very, very bottom, I think. I love how I can hold it and it's a light source on its own in my hand. Ooh, look at my little area. Those flowers are glowing. I put some sea lanterns in my house. The dragon doesn't have any light on it, but it really doesn't need any. I love it. That's my whole, look at that. <gasps> Ooh, I'm so proud. I did so good. There's my bridge. I don't, I don't know what else I'd need. That's scary. I still need a farm. I'll probably put the farm area around here and work on that for the next time. Work on making this pretty. And then we're gonna start actually playing the game. But now that I've made it like kind of like a little fairyland, uh, that's gonna be it for today's episode. Leave a like if you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!